Haley Law says that she might be returning to the upcoming season of Riverdale. We've got the scoop for you. I am Perez Hilton. And I'm Gabby Conti, and this is Live with Perez Hilton. Yes, Haley Law, who played Valerie Brown of Josie and the Pussycats in the first few seasons of Riverdale, hinted that she might be making an appearance on the hit show again. Haley just chatted with Entertainment Tonight Canada, where she said, quote, I would totally join Riverdale for the upcoming season. I talked to Roberto, the showrunner, about it a little bit, and I totally would. It's where I started, so I would always go back. Recently on an Instagram Live chat, Lily Reinhart revealed to Asha Broomfield on an Instagram Live that there had been talks of, of starting to bring back the members of Josie and the Pussycats for season five to quote, do right for their characters because before that, Haley and other black actors from Riverdale, including Vanessa Morgan, Asha Broomfield, and Bernadette Beck, talked about the lack of diversity on the show and how unfairly black actors and their characters were being treated. I mean, Riverdale is a very white show, it so it'd be great to have some more representation. And I love that as we're, God, crazily coming to the end of 2020, we're really seeing major change, mm -hmm. not just hopefully on Riverdale, but across television. I mean, if you look at TV right now, we now have a black bachelorette. Mm -hmm. When The Bachelor starts, there's a black bachelor. If you love reality television, CBS announced that on their reality shows like Survivor and Big Brother, going forward, 50% of their cast are going to be diverse, um, which I would also think might, you know, a, a gay man or a lesbian might be considered a diverse yeah. character on there. Um, so I, I, I'm excited for this potential return and um, hopefully, uh, there could be even a spot for Perez Hilton on oh, Riverdale. Yeah, I, I definitely could see that for sure. <laughs> I'm always totally shamelessly campaigning and plugging. He, he, I've done a lot of TV, and have. oftentimes that's how it works. I was on Glee. You were great on Glee. I, I asked that. Ryan Murphy yes. to put me on the show, and he did. So now you have to talk to Roberto and say if you're well, looking. Well, he is also a fellow Cuban American, yes. like myself. Well, here we go. He's Perfect. watching right now. He's watching right now. <laughs> Mi hermano cubano, come on. You want diversity, I'm gay and Latino. Let's it. make it happen. I love it, I love seeing that. I think that. the show needs to be even gayer. Yes. We need, like, <laughs> it's not gay enough. I'm serious, it's not, like, the, the Flash and Arrows, those shows are super gay. Mm -hmm. I want Riverdale to be gayer. There's and only one gay, gay character that I know of. I'm telling Kevin, you, it's gotta right? be gayer. I was like, yeah, they should, I agree. Yeah. That's, well, you know, what, who's doing a really great job with that, with showing diversity, is the reboot of Gossip Girl. I saw, yes. Which I love to see that. I think that's I saw. so cool. The leads are not white, nope. and however, uh, Kristen Bell is returning to the show to narrate the uh, Gossip Girl reboot. So yeah, that you should need be that fun. voice. You do. Yeah, I, I, I hope it'll be a hit. Um, they mentioned Perez Hilton in the original Gossip Girl. Mm. Uh, I was name checked in one episode. <laughs> Maybe I can be on this one too, I don't know. There's so many acting opportunities for you, Perez, that people really need to take advantage of this. On I their know, end. I don't have an agent, so hit me up there direct. There we go, <laughs> slide into those DMs. Uh, well, I'm excited to see what they're gonna do with season five. I mean, this show, season five of the show has been so highly anticipated with season four getting cut short and a couple of season four episodes being in season five and then they're doing a crazy time jump. So with that time jump, I feel like Josie and the Pussycats would come during that time. Are they like mega superstars at that point? I mean, I'm also a fan of musical numbers, yes. so if they brought her back and the crew, then there'd be even more musical numbers on the show. Mm -hmm. And it was, I mean, Josie and the Pussycats were big characters in the first season of Riverdale, and they kind of vanished in a way, um, which, so I'm happy to see that they're bringing this back, and also that it came after that, this, that discussion that the actors had on the show. Did, if you're watching this, we may not know the answer to this. Um, let us know in the comments. Netflix did the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Did yes. they cancel that? They, that got canceled. They should bring her onto the upcoming season of Riverdale. Yeah, they should bring Sabrina because those worlds are all collided yes. and all combined. They definitely the Archieverse, do that. I believe it's called. They or, should. Or that was the plan, and it never kind of materialized. Right. Well, and then there was the other show too with Lucy Hale, Katie Keene. Yes. And that's so that some of the Josie and the Pussycats were on that show uh. as well. But yeah, now that they're focusing on Riverdale, they should try to bring all these characters back for like a super power episode. I think that would be very dope to see that cross. I'm an idea, man. Yeah, you Making are. It happen. Here you are, writing credit. <laughs> well, guys, well, what do you think about the Pussycats returning and Haley Law returning to season five of Riverdale? Do you think it will happen? Let us know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Perez Hilton. And follow us at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.